Hi, I'm Kelly, an environmental educator with Portland Parks and Recreation. Tadpole Pond is one of my favorite places to take people between January and June. It's located in Oaks Bottom Wildlife Refuge. Here's our ecologist, Laura, to tell you why this pond is so special. Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I am an ecologist for Portland Parks and Recreation here at the City of Portland. And what that means is that my job is to protect animals. I get to come out and count and um, figure out how many are here and how healthy they are. And I get to make plans to keep them as healthy as possible in our city. And I wanted to introduce you all to a special site here at Oaks Bottom Wildlife Refuge called Tadpole Pond, where we built a pond specifically for kids and families to come and explore and learn about wetlands and amphibians. We asked our assistants to go out and catch some amphibians to share with you. We gave them some common things you can find in your kitchen. Measuring cups, clear pitchers, empty yogurt tubs, even soup ladles are great for catching and viewing amphibians. I see fat tadpoles. Oh, there's a little baby salamander. He's so cute. There's two salamanders and one tadpole. Hey look, there's a bullfrog. Think we can catch it? I caught it. Ah, oh, it's that oh. one got away. <laughs> Thank you to our amazing assistants. Let's see what they found. So the first species that we have in this pond is called the long-toed salamander. And these are little larvae that start off life as um, the aquatic form, kind of like a little tadpole in the water. So you can see that they have all four legs, they have a nice long tail, and then if you look right behind their eye, they actually have external gills. So if you think about how a fish breathes through gills, the salamanders are breathing the same way, but instead of the gills being inside the body, they stick out like little hairs behind their ears. And if you look closely, you can see that they're kind of bright red and that's from the blood that's going through them and pulling oxygen out of the water. So all of these are little long-toed salamander larvae that are going to turn into long-toed salamanders in the next month or so. And one of the cool things about them is that the adults come down to breed and to lay their eggs um, really early in the year, like even around Christmas time, they'll come down and they'll lay their eggs. So earlier than any other species that we have in the pond. So these are red-legged frog tadpoles, and this is a special species because it's one that's starting to decline. We're starting to have fewer and fewer of them, especially in urban areas, and we're very concerned that they're going to disappear. And so this is one that we actually uh, spend a lot of time counting and trying to do what we can to keep them healthy and safe. So these guys are a little bit bigger. They're about an inch or so, and if you look really close, you can see little tiny back legs just starting to develop. So those back legs develop outside the body and they'll just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And meanwhile, the front legs are actually already developing inside the body, kind of in underneath the ribs. And they will pop out fully formed um, in another couple of weeks. So you'll go from having a two-legged frog to a four-legged frog in about five seconds. This is the Pacific tree frog tadpole. So it's quite a bit smaller than the red-legged tadpole that we just looked at and um, it has eyes that stick out kind of on the side of the head. So if you can look at it from kind of the top down, you can see the eyes kind of make the whole body look like a square. And this one is very common. We have it all over the place. This is the one that makes all the noise. It keeps you up at night in the spring with the ribbits and the croaks. Um, and it's actually what we call a, a Hollywood movie star frog because if there's ever a movie that has a camping scene and there's frogs croaking in the background, it's usually a recording of our Pacific tree frog. <laughs> so this is, one, this is one that's very common. They can be, the adults are green, brown, gray, so they have patterns, and they actually have a reflective um, pigment in their skin that can make them look pink and orange and blue as well in the right sunlight, so they can be kind of coppery. So they're really beautiful. There's all different kinds of colors but they're called tree frogs because they can climb and they can climb because they have little suction cups on their toes. So if you ever catch an adult, you can actually feel the suction cups on your skin. Um, and this is what allows them to be able to climb up windows at night or um, if they were a little bit more developed, they'd be climbing up the sides of that container right there. 
here is the froglet that has all four legs. He's almost ready to lose his tail and leave the pond. So top three ways to keep amphibians safe, either while you're playing with them here or once you go back to your house. So the first is when you come here, make sure that your hands are really clean. You don't want to have hand sanitizer or lotion or soap on them. If you just ate an orange or anything that has kind of a sharp acidy uh, kind of juice to it, you want to make sure that's all off your hands because amphibians have very thin skin and they'll actually absorb all of those, those chemicals directly into their bodies and it can hurt them. So very clean hands is very important. Um, the second thing is to not take them home. I know it's hard, everybody wants to take home a frog or a salamander as a pet, but it's really hard to keep them alive. They need a really special balance in their environment to stay healthy. And if you take them home, they're probably not gonna survive. And then the next kids that come to the pond won't be able to enjoy them. So come down here to the pond. That's why this place is here. Enjoy them here and then take your memories back with you when you go back to your house. Um, and then the third thing that you can do is to share this information with other kids, other families um, that, are, that you see come down here. So if you see kids playing with the frogs, if you see um, a friend that doesn't know a whole lot about amphibians, maybe teach them something about them. Give, give, teach them a one, one important fact that you learned today um, watching this video.